It's getting that funky shoulder pain when doing your push-ups. Stay tuned as I'm going to show you how to adjust your push-ups so you can avoid that ache but still get all the benefits of the push-up. Coach Matt Pippen here, and over the last 15 years, I've helped over a thousand professional, collegiate, and everyday athletes move, feel, and perform at their highest level. And trust me when I say, it's not the first time I've run across someone who's experiencing shoulder pain while doing push-ups. But I get it, everyone loves push-ups, and I wanted to share the shoulder-friendly version. So to start out, guys, you're going to begin by placing dumbbells on the ground. Now obviously you want dumbbells that are not circular, otherwise it's going to make this exercise simply brutal. So you'll see I have here these guys are ones with like the hexagon shape. Those are ideal. If you also kind of have like the gymnastics pirouettes, anything that's going to allow you basically to maintain this grip. And so what this grip does, this is kind of called our neutral grip, is there's going to be less shoulder mobility requirement because that's what's causing that pinch. It's that mobility in your shoulder and that lack of rotation that's causing it. So if we can eliminate that a little bit, and still keep doing your push-ups while you're working on your shoulders. So to do your setup, I like to have the dumbbells pretty much about shoulder width. I like to have them as straight as humanly possible. So to get here, I grab the dumbbells, make sure I'm nice and solid. You can do this obviously on your knees if you're not ready for full, uh, full on pull, uh, push ups Get here, I like to kind of sink my knees and squeeze them together, and then I tuck my pelvis, tuck my chin, so I'm really engaged, and it's like I'm trying to drag the dumbbells together. That just gets me to turn more stuff on. From here, I slowly descend, and I have a little bit of a forward drift, come down to where you feel safe, and then slowly push yourself up and away. What a lot of people will do is they'll just let their pelvis drop, and they kind of go into this position, and then it kind of resembles the worm from back in those, like those 80s hip hop dance videos. We don't want to do that, guys. We want to stay nice and engaged. So kind of think like you're squeezing your butt, you're bracing your abs just a little bit. And I like to envision somebody like a gymnastic person because they have, tend to have so much engagement here, and that's how I have that drift going on. That's going to be way more friendly to your shoulders than just going here in the shrug line. So to recap, grab the dumbbells about shoulder width, kind of squeeze the dumbbells together, squeeze your butt, brace your abs, get a little bit of a forward drift. I like to think elbows to ribs, push myself back and away, and that's how we do the shoulder-friendly push-up. I want to point out that shoulder pain while doing standard push-ups is a red flag that you have a shoulder mobility issue. Now, letting it linger is a recipe for disaster. So if you want to relieve pain and work on eliminating your issue, check out the link below where you can grab my go-to mobility exercises, including a powerhouse of a shoulder exercise. It's going to be a game changer for you, so be sure to check it out. Give today's alternative a try and let me know how it went in the comments below. If the video was helpful, be sure to like or share so I know what tips you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out on all the awesome content we have coming your way. Until next time, guys, remember to be strong, be mobile.